Hello world. In a lot of my videos, I mentioned the C++ standard and its standards committee. And I want to take some time just to kind of explain what those are and how they work. The standard itself is just a document that is produced by the committee and voted on by a variety of national bodies that are all part of the International Standards Organization, ISO. And that just defines what commonly we mean by C++ when we're talking about C++. The committee itself meets about two or three times a year and each of those meetings lasts one week. In recent years each meeting would have about 110 to 130 people meeting at it, not always the same people. It is divided up into four working groups and 13 active study groups currently. The working groups are divided up into two areas. Two of them work on the core language and two work on the library portion of the standard. For each of those groups, there is a sort of evolution group and then the sort of the core, the wording group. For the language itself, you have the evolution working group and the core working group. And then for the library, you have the library evolution working group and the library working group. The study groups are organized in order to focus on particular topics to help produce papers that are on those larger topics before the working groups themselves begin to work on it. So I mentioned those papers there. That is the vehicle for which all work is actually done in the committee. So individuals write papers and then based on the topic of the paper, either it'll go to a study group or to an evolution level working group or in rare instances it will go directly to the wording group. And those are usually just when they're trying to fix issues or bugs within the language. If a study group likes a particular paper, they will forward it on to the corresponding evolution group that will look at that, the feature that that paper seeks to add as to whether or not it fits in the overall scheme of C++. They might look at things like, do the naming conventions work? Is it designed in such a way that it can work with other facilities within the language? Is it something that we really want for the where the language is going? And then once they are satisfied with the paper, they will forward it on to the core group that will actually work on the wording for the standard to specify how that is to be done. Once a paper has gone through a number of revisions and those groups all themselves seem to be happy with it, then the paper may come for a vote before the entire committee. We call those voting sessions plenary sessions. If the committee votes to adopt the paper, then the paper will be applied to what is called the working draft. The working draft is just effectively the entire standard to that point. At some point, the committee may decide that the working draft is good as a new version of C++. At that point, the working draft is voted to become a what is called a Draft International Standard, or DIS. Once it goes to the Draft International Standard, that gives all the member nations a chance to submit comments, called National Body Comments. The committee then goes through a round of addressing all of those issues as either fixes for the issue that's raised or explaining why the issue was rejected. Once the committee believes that all the national body concerns are sufficiently addressed, then there will be a vote to send the draft international standard on to become what is called a final draft international standard, an FDIS, which is what will go to the national bodies to vote on whether or not it becomes a new international standard. Once that vote happens, the new international standard is finalized, then ISO stamps it as the new international standard. They then make the document available to the world so that everybody can be on the same playing field. So that's basically how this whole thing works and what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about the, uh, the C++ standard, I'm actually talking about that document. When I am talking about the standards committee, I'm talking about those couple of hundred people that get together uh, crazily two, three times a year for a week at a time and hash out the nerdiest technical details. If you'd like to find out more, check out the links below or Leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it if I know it or find out the answer if I don't. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time.